let's take a look at the final one, which is CSR or corporate social responsibility. Corporate social responsibility is when a company becomes involved in social issues to help out the community. Examples of CSR include scholarships, donations to charity, event organization for orphans, buying corporate gifts from local craftsmen, etc. Now, why is this important? At some point in its life cycle, any company should start thinking of ways okay, to pay back to the community, to improve the community. Because at the end of the day, we survive as companies and we, we thrive and grow thanks to our customers. If we do not have customers, then we have nothing. We have no business. So it is a way of giving back or of paying back to the community for its support to the company, whether as customers or as press or as PR or as government or anything else. So without, as I was saying, without the customer, a company cannot exist. And CSR is a form of thanks in return to the growth of the company. And obviously, it also gives a positive image for the company vis-a-vis -vis the different stakeholders that are involved in the company, mostly the community itself. So what cause to choose? If you want to go in CSR, okay, you have to select a cause that goes in line with your brand positioning. If you're a software company, for instance, you can offer one scholarship for engineering students that are in need. If you're a sports apparel distributor, you can, for instance, establish a small sports center for children, okay, especially children in need to practice in. So this way you would be helping out small children who cannot maybe afford to go to, to, to do sports or something like that, you would be at the same time promoting sports and you would be helping the community out through healthier living and exercising. If you have a restaurant, for instance, you can organize a yearly dinner for the elderly to celebrate a specific occasion and so on and so forth. So depending on your business, uh, it's very easy to choose a cause to, uh, to support and then just follow that cause around. So something very important is to be active in CSR. So don't do it once and drop it. This is something you need to be active at. So don't just try it once and then say, that's it, I don't want to do it anymore, or I don't have time to do it anymore. Okay? Uh, you have to be active at it to, to give credibility to what you're doing, to give meaning, and mostly because people st will start depending on it. So this is why you need to commit to the cause you're supporting, because I was saying People depend on you for it. It also helps in your storytelling because it, ha it adds a strong human touch to the brand. Okay, so when and when there is a human touch linked to the brand, people will relate better to the emotions behind that brand. However, make sure not to choose too many causes at the same time because it will be very hard to commit to all of them. So choose one or two. Okay and make sure you commit to them and to follow with, up with them on the long term, okay? But at the end of the day, there is one important thing to need to remember, that you are a company looking to make profit. You're not a charity organization, you're not an NGO, so do not forget the purpose of your CSR. It is true that you want to thank the community back, okay? But the, point, the important point is that you are a company and that company needs to make profit. So have your CSR in place, but do not forget the purpose of your CSR and mostly do not forget the purpose of your business. An exercise for you to think of, uh, try to choose two CSR activities that you think would be good to endorse in your business. Once you do that, it's, it's then easy for you to go ahead and start implementing them.